So guys, after watching Avengers Infinity War, people gone crazy behind every Marvel character. But the best Marvel character is no one other than Tony Stark, Iron Man. When Pepper asked about Tony, asked to Tony about this the stuff he's wearing, he replied this is just a housing which contains the nanoparticles. Brought this up because it's nothing. It's just a housing unit for nanoparticles. You're not helping. No, it's just attachment. Okay. It's not a. So guys, in the next shot, we can see that the transformation which is occurred from that housing and the formation of the Iron Man suit goes on uh, around the Tony's body. So guys, that was the nanoparticles which is coming out from that particular housing. Wow. Nanotech, you like it? So guys, basically that's our today's topic, which is a nanotech or we can call it as a nanoparticle. So guys, let's begin with our topic, nanoparticles. So guys, nanoparticles are the ultra fine unit with dimension measured in nanometers or we can call it as a in the nanoscale. That is one nanometer is equals to 10 raised to minus 9 meter, which is very, very, very small guys. The nanoparticles exist in the natural world and we can also they can be also created as results of human activities so guys the the nanoparticles are the three dimensional objects okay which are uh, which are are surrounding and that can be used in various applications such as the medicine to cure the various diseases which can be used in our engineering applications and it can be used as a catalyst or uh, to speed up the processes so guys let's understand the size of the nanoparticles that is the nanoscale the size of the nanoscale so guys, this is the image which shows the different sizes so let's con consider the first one that is ant the size of the ant can be vary from one centimeter that is 10 mm to 5 mm which can be we can clearly see from our eyes so guys which is very small that is 10 raised to minus 2 meter that is one centimeter the next one is the dust mite dust mite is just like the dot okay and it is of the size of the dust mite can be 1 mm that is 1000 microns so which is a uh, merely small than that of the ant going going deeper again the human air the the size of the human air here is 0 0.1 mm that is of the 100 microns so which is very smaller than the previous one that is dust mite again going on the microscopic level the are red blood cells the human red blood cells are 2 to 5 microns wide that is 1 micron is equals to 1000 nanometers 1000 nanometers so this is very small and inside that red blood cells there is our dna that can be vary from sizes 2 to 12 nanometer in diameter so that is the basically the nanoscale <coughs> and if we go again deep we can see the carbon nanotubes the nanotubes carbon nanotubes are are very strong and we that sees around 2 mm diameter so guys we have seen the scale of nanotech uh, nanoparticles or we can call it as nanotech so let us check our present conditions and how well we used nanotech in our everyday life and what kind of progress we have did in the nanotechnology so guys the first one is the scientists are using this nanotechnology to create an invisibility clock so such as we have seen in uh, the regular harry potter movies so this nanotube sheets at extreme temperature causes light to bend away from the target object so as uh, there is no light emitting on the target object the object becomes disappear though the object is present there but it looks just like disappear disappeared so that kind of the invisibility clock scientists are uh, trying to uh, manufacture the next one is the bulletproof business suits that are made from the carbon nanotubes which consists costs around the 20,000 USD these business suits are the stab resistance and can stop a 9 mm bullets and have to cut into the shape using a saw so these are the very strong bulletproof business suits uh, which are made from the carbon nanotubes as well next is the mice which is injected with the nanomaterials and have regained the ability to use the paralyzed limbs the nanofibers stimulates the body to regenerate and lost or damaged cells 
Moving ahead, the energy from the heartbeats and the tapping fingers can be also harnessed from the nanotech. And once built into fabrics, our clothes will be able to recharge the portable devices such as our cell phones and our we smart wearables such as the smart watches. So that kind of stuff we can do with the nanotechnology and the nanotech. Next, moving ahead, the transistors and the microprocessors which we use in our everyday life, in our laptops, in our cell phones, these are the made from the nanomaterials at very nanoscales to operate a large databases and servers. So these uh, microprocessors are consist of thousands or millions of transistors which are made from nanomaterials, guys. So a very good example is a Damascus steel which is over 1000 years old and con contains the carbon nanotubes which is merely very strong and the blades which is made from that steel could suppose supposed to be cut through stone or a metal made from the carbon millions of the carbon nanotubes that is the boron nitride nanotubes which is also known as the bucky paper that is 10 times lighter and 250 times stronger than the steel which is also used which is which can be also used in our regular engineering applications and that is uh, from that carbon nanotubes. G costos have a nano size hairs that fuse them to smooth surfaces. Scientists hope to use this ability to create search and rescue bots that can scale on the smoother buildings. Nanotech could provide a side effect, side effect free cancer cure and nano, nano coated treatments will guide the drugs to harmful cancer cells while ignoring the healthy cells. So the nanotechnology can cure our cancers also so guys we are far away from the technology which is used by the iron man in the movie infinity war so guys that was all about the nanotechnology thanks for watching this video if you like my video please hit like comment and share my video share my video to everyone so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel mmi